and we now have confirmed the breaking news from the New York Times. Jonathan Deanst, uh, NBC's Jonathan Deanst in New York, saying that federal investigators have executed that search warrant at the apartment owned by the former personal attorney to President Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani. Part of an investigation into Mr. Giuliani's dealings in Ukraine. Joining me by phone is Michael Schmidt from the New York Times that broke this story. Uh, Michael, can you explain where they are on this investigation and how unusual it would be to have a search warrant at the former, the former president's attorney's apartment? Um, so my colleagues reporting on this today and a pretty significant development in the investigation Executing a search warrant is one of the most aggressive steps that prosecutors can take. And it's particularly significant in this case because last year, as this investigation was, was working its way through, prosecutors wanted to execute a search warrant, but were stopped from doing that by the Trump uh, Bar Justice Department. Now, here we are, eight days after Lisa Monaco has been confirmed as the Deputy Attorney General of the Biden Justice Department, this approval to execute the search warrant um, has been given. So it shows that that investigation um, that had began met many, you know, almost you know, several years ago at this point, um, is accelerating, is gaining momentum here um, after it had been uh, slowed at the end of last year. And, Michael, obviously this is now, they're going to have to own this uh, politically. We can talk about that with others. But the fact is, uh, this is a major escalation because they don't do a search warrant until, unless they obviously have a grand jury as well. You, you, need, you need approval from a federal judge to do this. It is seen as incredibly invasive in any investigation. It's seen as particularly invasive with an investigation involving a lawyer, as in this case, Rudy Giuliani was the president's lawyer, the, the lawyer to the president of the United States to go in and get this. It's a very adversarial move. It is really, um, it is literally going into someone's home and taking something that they believe is essential to the investigation and is likely, um, you know, certainly to have information that is damaging to the person that you're taking it from. Um, and, you know, and it's a very overt move. It's something that is almost certainly to come out. And here we are uh, learning about it just hours after it happened. It's the kind of thing that creates headlines and it, and it gives a sense of momentum and urgency to an investigation, an investigation uh, which looks like it had been slowed and stalled at the end of last year. And, of course, they had previously done this to another one of the president's former lawyers, Michael Cohn. Uh, and what is the relationship that we know of between Giuliani legal relationship? Is he still a lawyer for Donald Trump, or should we refer to him as the former lawyer for the former president? So following the who the president's lawyers are at any moment is very difficult, or the former president lawyers are at any moment has been very difficult. He goes through so many different lawyers and went through so many in the different iterations of the federal investigations that he faced and impeachment and such. I think the most recent thing that I had seen on this, or um, and I think that we had heard, was that, that Giuliani was no longer representing the president. Now, as we all remember, Giuliani was a key person in representing the president around the time of the uh, challenge, you know, when he, you know, uh, made the false claims about the election and tried to challenge it. Um, you know, Giuliani was someone who spoke on January 6th. Um, and now, um, you know, Giuliani, uh, I think, had, you know, was no longer representing the president. Um, but at this point, um, you know, still has, you know, ties to Trump and is still seen as uh, somewhat close to him. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.